what's up you guys welcome back to another episode of life of lauren so let's get into some life updates because i feel like a lot of times i do sit down videos where i tell you big things that are going on in my life and big new things but i never really get to talk about my day-to-day -day life so day-to-day -day life i had a pop-up shop for my clothing line at a local coffee shop in town called grounded and that was my first pop-up shop ever but it was super fun it was a 10 hour day from setup to when i left so that was a stretch because i am i do have moments where i am more tired than usual but generally i feel really good now in my second trimester i told josiah like i'm getting my personality back like <laughs> i feel so good and i want to do things that i usually don't want to do like like let's go play catch you want to play basketball let's go here let's go there you want to see your mom <laughs> just i have so much energy but to get back on topic that event was so fun it was so so fun i got to meet people who to my surprise were coming and i was trying to like explain the material talk it up and they were like oh i know i already have one i just saw that you posted and i wanted to come by more and that was so amazing i got questions from girls about how do i start a business what's that advice that you would give and that was so humbling to me and i just felt so blessed to be in that position granted in my head i'm like first of all don't do what i did <laughs> because i made so many mistakes along the way i think the advice that i told one girl was like just seek financial advice prior to buying all of your goods or whatever it is you're trying to do make sure that you're gonna profit because 19 year old me didn't do that 19 year old me was super ambitious and i love that about how i was but i i always take calculated risk so i knew whatever money i invest it's okay if i never get it back but that's not to say that you don't want to make money in the end at all which i did make some back but i just didn't know the details of all of that and what all of that entailed anyway next i went out of town for some family stuff i got food poisoning horribly okay horribly and i was a little bit scared for my baby that was like two days ago so now i'm just kind of like are you okay um but everything i looked up talks about how the baby is so protected in the womb that it's highly highly unlikely that it experiences any of those like stomach aches or stomach problems that you have so in other news we are having a boy and i am so excited about that we're both so excited about that i think honestly and genuinely we were okay with either gender. Um, I tell everyone when they ask me what I wanted, I feel like for your first one, you're really okay with whatever because there's really no expectation and you have nothing to compare it to. So you're just really like seriously a healthy baby, like seriously, cause you're so scared. To be honest, in the end, a lot of our friends have little boys and we were around them quite a bit, just different friends of ours. And we were like, oh my gosh, I kind of want a boy. We were talking about it and we were just, I don't know if we would actually say out loud, I think Josiah did <laughs> say that he wanted a boy, but I think I wouldn't say it out loud. Like in the, it was literally like the last week before we found out. And yeah, we're just very playful, both Josiah and I. So I was like, look, I kind of want a boy. I, I would be okay with the girl. Every girl wants a girl eventually, but I just, in this season of my life, feel like I would just do really well with a boy. Obviously, God would equip me with whichever gender he gave me, but I am so excited to have a boy. We were gonna do a gender reveal, so I was planning to have an episode for that, but I'm tired. Like, you gotta understand, I just got married six months ago, so we had the wedding, we had the rehearsal dinner, which that was like 50 people there. We had the wedding shower the month before. I, it was just so much, there's so much event planning. And I, whenever I thought about a gender reveal, I was exhausted thinking about it and thinking about hosting again and all for a 10 second moment. So we, I even told my sister-in-law like, look, I'm gonna give you my account. I'm not gonna look into it. You're gonna see what the gender is. Don't tell anyone. But towards the end, they called me and were like, do you wanna know your gender? And I'm like, yeah. 
And so they told me it and I was like, Josiah, I know the gender. And um, he was like, I'm in a meeting. And I was like, you want me to text it or you want me to wait? Just tell me. And then he was like, I have 30 seconds I can talk between meetings, call me. And then I called him and I told him and he, he was really, really happy. He really wanted a boy. So with that being said, what did I do when I found out I had a boy? Naturally, I went shopping. Let's do a shopping haul. <laughs> so I bought so much stuff. An, an a re unreasonable amount of stuff, one might say, not me, but <laughs> I, I think I'm done buying clothes, honestly, truly, unless it's like something I really see in person that I like because I bought things from Old Navy, Ross and Marshalls, but I bought so much stuff online, like sweatery stuff, like this type of stuff for my baby, not like with a turtleneck, okay? Josiah's like, you're gonna dress him like a girl. And I'm like, no, he's a baby. Yes, he's born in August, but he only has a few months before it's winter or fall and winter. So he needs to be bundled, okay? And he does have boy clothes. And on the registry, Josiah made me put a Dallas Cowboys onesie. So it's gonna be the best of both worlds. It's gonna be cozy baby. And it's gonna be, Josiah wants him to look like sporty. I'm like, okay. <laughs> So my mom's like, I want to buy him all the sporty stuff. And I'm like, you go ahead because I want, I want my cozy baby and I want to know if he's warm and I just think it's the most adorable style. So pajamas, I, these are some of the pajamas I actually already bought the baby. Before I knew I was having a boy, I was like, I'm going to do things that are, it's kind of like a lime green-ish. And I got this because I felt like it could go either way, boy or girl, even though it's dinosaurs, it could still could have been girl, I guess. Maybe I just had a feeling it was a boy, but it comes, well, I bought separately, but it matches. Really, really, really cute. What are they called? Dinosaur slippers. They're just the cutest. You'll see, I bought a million dinosaur things. Just I was like, everybody's gonna think he likes dinosaurs. I'm like, cause he is gonna like dinosaurs. I bought all this dinosaur stuff. He's gonna like dinosaurs. <laughs> this is from Old Navy. It's just a really, really comfy onesie. Yeah, onesie. This is three to six months. It's so small and it's only three to six. It's already three to six months. It, I've been having trouble knowing, should I buy more newborn stuff? I don't think so, right? Just a few newborn things and then the rest kind of separate them is what I understand. Comment below if you think otherwise. He is a summer baby, like I said. August is the hottest month, so I bought him this little like muscle shirt type of onesie. Um, a lot of pajamas. Maybe I need to buy less pajamas. Here are two other types of pajamas. These, this material is just so soft if you can see it in person. Even in the inside, it's really, really soft. These are soft too. This style is way different than what I bought on online. So I would say everything I bought for the baby here is kind of like stay at home and chill type of stuff. And my other outfits are like church outfits. When we go out to eat, that that type, they're a little bit, a little bit much, but in a good way. This next one, I hear this zipper is way better and way more convenient than buttons. And I do see how that would be just time consuming to continuously button all of those cute little socks. Love them. I bought this before I knew if I was having a boy or a girl because obviously it could go either ways, but I'm so into a matching set. For myself, for a baby, we're just all gonna have matching sets. This I bought. Maybe put him some cool little shoes on. He's feeling classy and sleek. What else? Oh, this is this is kind of like more the style. I, I bought him a lot of neutral colors because I like wearing tans and whites and browns, obviously. So just a lot of sets. I'll try to post just clips or should I say I'll ask Leo to post clips of the outfits I bought online that'll be coming in because you're going to see how the outfits really vary. So like I said, everything I bought at the store was just that cozy stuff. And I think that was because I was able to feel everything. And you want your baby to be comfy, like I said, when, when they go to sleep and warm and all of that. So I wanted to feel the material. I wanna make sure it was something soft. 
the stuff that my baby wears in the day. I can only see reviews. I don't really, so I don't really want to buy pajamas online, but everything else, who knows, but it's gonna be cute. So my body is changing so rapidly. Basically, once I hit my second trimester, I feel like I have changed so much and continue to change. So that's really exciting. And now it's starting to feel real because before, you can't feel your baby, you can't see your baby, only at specific appointments. So you're just like, are you there? Like, <laughs> I would trick myself kind of, or I would be like, did I eat a lot or is this for real? But now it's for real. And it's my stomach so hard. And yesterday I told Josiah, cause he wasn't here when I woke up and I woke up and I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh, I just started to cry. Not like a crazy cry, but, I started to just tear up and I'm like, you're growing. Good job, little baby. It's so exciting and I love my baby so much already. It's nice to see that. Just seeing your bump grow to me is just a reminder that everything is good and he's good. I'm, I'm so healthy, I feel so healthy. I have so much more energy so. I'm just so grateful and I will give you a bump update now. He is growing, he's growing so much. It's crazy. It kind of feels like it happened overnight, but look at that. Oh my God. I haven't seen my mom in a while because she's been out of town, but I face, we were FaceTiming and I showed her and she was like, oh, I need to screenshot. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing and awesome. <laughs> Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye.